Come on, they shot. Um, might even put this on the website. What do you reckon? <laughs> Bit of honey. Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good, huh? <laughs> Oh, I might do so, it's quite nice. She said they'd be there without having a barbecue. For Fat Fred Freddy's drop, how do you write the songs? Do you all come together or? Um, no, Moo. Uh, well, normally someone comes with an idea, actually. It's becoming more and more like that. Someone comes with an, an, an idea on the MPC. That gets laid down on the MPC, and then everyone starts to have a little bit of a input and does more development on the MPC. Together, sit around, have a listen to it. It's, everyone starts playing over the top of it. Yeah. And then it, after a couple of gigs, it evolves into, takes a direction. But it really is, you know, when it when it first goes onto a gig, when it, when we play a tune for the first time, it is, you know, and it's and it's still in its developing stages for the song. And the good thing about this tour that we've just done for the Fat Freddies is that we've played the tunes, we've played them out, you know, we've played out there a lot of the possibilities. So now for the studio process, it's just going to be going back, having listened to all the stuff that we've played, and picking, yeah. the, picking the good ideas, okay. and then recording it properly in the studio, and there's the hopefully next the album. And. Um the, the relationship between all the, the members in the group, is it sometimes stressful? Compared to a lot of other groups that I've seen, it's a very, very relaxed situation. Everyone's trying, I think. Everyone tries very hard to make it a relaxed situation and to make it as easy going as possible. Because everyone knows this is just the beginning of, of this touring business. I lived in New Zealand for a while, so I got in touch with it through living there and living in Wellington for a while and down in Christchurch where you've got a whole different music scene and um, hanging in Golden Bay uh, where there's uh, quite an interesting music scene altogether too. I just was very impressed by um, the high concentration of talented people in such a small country. So um, there must be something in the air there or something that they put in your food when you grow up. <laughs> they came out and they love all of us. Yay, oh, they just came in in time from London or from Berlin, I don't know, but that was a surprise. Yeah, they're, um, I mean, uh, yeah, they're a South Pacific uh, uh, tropical surprise, aren't they? <laughs> They're uh, they're a treat. They're uh, yeah, it's um, they're a party. I mean, it's funny because since Saturday, I'm getting all these text messages from friends who have said, who just sent something's cooking in the kitchen tonight, <laughs> and then someone else sent something like, uh, "Hey, uh, I'm sitting in the park and I'm hanging loose." Over like the willow tree, so it's already integrated in people's lingo here. That's that's how fast it goes. <laughs> everyone loved Trinity, everyone loved Ebb, and everyone loved uh, Fat Freddy's Drop. It was such a, uh, I had so much response from people saying I haven't seen that good live music in ages. So there you go. 
and everyone was so skeptical when I started talking about it, so... Phone call. person in particular come up to me and um, say you were great and Fat Freddy's drop love your voice and thank you very much oh that other girl as well that played before you she had a nice voice I said oh that was me <laughs> oh really yeah <laughs>